G'day guys, Jeff here again, just giving you a little bit of an update around DiGSR. Basically this video series we're just going to put on pause for a bit because I've got a whole bunch of really good content for you all out there around another black GI that we've purchased and also our gold GI which we're currently building. Um, we'll start with the black GI, there's going to be about a three little mini series on that. It's going to be a good little series and then we'll crack into the gold GI and we've got a lot of content around that because we've been building it recently. Um, so yeah. Dye is going to be put on hold for a little bit. Uh, we do have some exciting stuff and some cool videos with it that I do need to put, put up, but we'll hold on that and just pump out a few more videos on other cars that we're doing. So stay tuned. Remember, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell as well so you know when I'm posting videos. All your support means a lot to me, so thanks for watching and we'll get right into the new series. Cheers! I will cut in here and say that in typical GDIR fashion I did have to fix the car before we got to drive it home. So basically uh, the fuel lines weren't um, secured properly and I had to take some new EFI clamps down and secure them, screw them up, um, take the hose off, just basically make sure that it wasn't going to spray gas on my partner's drive home. Uh, last thing I wanted to do was catch her on fire. Um, so. But yeah, we had to fix the car before I drove it home. Classic GDIR, supposed to be in mint condition, but um, unfortunately with all of them, there's always just some little thing that you have to do with them. Anyway, hope you keep enjoying the video. The fuel line clamp was too big, so I've replaced it with a smaller one, and we're not leaking gas anymore, so we should be good to drive it home. Happy times.